welcome back to Orit's Kitchen, and I'm Orit. So today, we're going to be showing you a stew using celery. So for those out there who are familiar with the Persian word, Iranian word, it's called khoreshte karaps. So this stew is very healthy, kid-friendly. Um, it has a lots of um, herbs in there and vitamins and celery, of course. And we usually pour this over um, white rice, or you can make the crispy rice if you don't know how to do that. No problem, I got you covered. Just go scroll down under the, I think it's like the second, third episode, and you'll find out how to make really good yummy rice and crispy rice, okay? So this toresh, unfortunately, takes about three hours for it to be made. Okay, so I had to make this a little in advance to be ordered to save some time for you guys so you guys won't be bored watching my episode, okay? So I took pictures and Gabby, when she edits everything, she will post them up for you as I'm talking to you right now, okay? So first thing you need to do is purchase this if you want. You can make this yourself, just buy some mint and parsley and put in a food processor and bam! Or someone like me, I don't have that much time to do that kind of stuff all the time and, and uh, I may forget that I don't have it at home. So I just buy the prepackaged one, especially the company called Chop Shop. You find this in a Middle Eastern market, okay? So just make sure for this type of stew using celery, you need to get the mint parsley mixture, okay? So I'll open it up for you guys. That's how it is. You can leave it in the freezer. You can use a certain amount like I did right here and use the rest another time, okay? Now, it depends on how much you're using, how much are you planning to make, okay? So I just use a pot this size, okay? And I just use that little small amount right there. That's all you need. You may think, oh my God, that's it? Honestly, it's a lot because it's frozen and when you put it in the water, it kind of just opens up and it becomes a lot, okay? So I did that. Next thing is, I chopped up celery. I just got a whole bunch of celery and I chop it up in little smaller pieces, okay? Just like so, in this type of shape. And also, you guys can also use the ends of them too, the little leafy part, and put it in your stew as well, okay? And yeah, I have a lot left over. I had about a, the, the size of this um, Tupperware and I put it in here, you know, half of it. The rest I'm gonna just put in the freezer and you can use it next time, no biggie, okay? Or, you know, you can, if you love celery, just to eat it alone, that's fine. And you can use it with a ranch, whatever floats your boat, okay? So that's that. Next, the first thing you do, is you're going to, and it has meat in there. You could do it meatless too, you guys, okay? So I got my meat, beef chunks, okay? And um, I put it in uh, water and I got all the gunky stuff out. So if you don't know how to do that, no problem. Once again, look, scroll down on my episodes and you'll find out how to get all the yucky, dirty stuff off. Free clean is what I call it, of the meat. Okay, so we do that and then you're gonna put it in, in a clean pot and pour some water about halfway of the size of the pot that you're using. And you're gonna add some of that fried onions. Yes, guys, fried onions again with the garlic that I pre-made before and I put it in the freezer and I can use it whenever I want. If you guys don't have it, no, no sweat. You can make it yourself right away or they sell uh, fried onions at the supermarket and you can just use that, use as much as you want, put it in the freezer and use it again next time. And don't forget, if you do that, add garlic to it, okay? So as I'm talking, Gabby is gonna be posting these pictures for you, okay? That will explain everything clearly, okay? And again, if there's any question, just, I'm out there, so just message me and I'll be more than happy to help you. And it may look really difficult, but when you don't want time, you're like, oh, that's it? It's really simple, guys. Especially if you already have everything made, it's not that hard, okay? And again, it's really healthy for everybody in the family, okay? So then you let the, 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 the meat and the fried onions cook for about two hours because you want the meat to be soft, nice and cooked. How do you know if it's ready or not? No problem, just take the meat out, cut it. Oh, this is smoothly cut? Yes, so it's ready to go. So then after that, you're gonna add your mint parsley mixture in it, and you're gonna add some a little bit lemon juice and the chicken consomme, okay? And, and the celery. And then the next thing you put is dried limes, okay? It looks just like this. You can get it at the Middle Eastern market, okay? It comes in a big, in a bag that has like 
20, 30 of these, okay? And these make it a little bit more sour, okay? And um, because I know you add some lemon juice, but this gives it a little bit more of a different type of flavor, okay? So you add both, okay? Now, you can add one, you can add two, you can add three, whatever you want, but it just be careful, it does make it a bit sour, especially when you puncture some holes in it, okay? And that's what I did. In this do here, I only put one of these and I punctured a hole in it and that's it. And after that, you let it all cook for about another extra hour. So this total complete takes about three hours for it to get ready, okay? So two hours of the meat to be cooked with the fried um, onions and the garlic. And then you add all the other stuff in it and a total of three hours. And in between, after about an hour, I tasted it and I added a little bit more lemon juice actually to it. And then I was satisfied with the flavor, okay? So I got my rice here. So I, I um, parboiled my rice or upkish my rice. I already cooked it, okay? And it takes about 30 minutes for it to get ready, cook. Again, look at my episodes at the beginning, bunch of episode two or so, and you'll know how to make this. So this is my stew, you guys. Okay, my kids love celery. Honestly, I really like celery too, so I'm gonna be eating this with them today. So I love celery. So here's the celery all nice and cooked now, okay? And with the, the mint and parsley, as you can see, okay? And you see, I just put that little amount and look how much it is, it's enough, okay? And then so here is the dried lime that I put in. It's cooked and if you look closely, there's a punctured hole in there and if you push it, the juices come out. And where's my meat? Voila! Here is my meat, okay, nice and cooked. Um, <clears throat> and you can put as, mid, as much as meat as you want. For my kids, I, I don't want them to see it and I want them to get the protein, so I try to hide it. I make mince it really, really tiny and I mix it with the rice and they eat it, okay? And again, for those vegetarians out there, vegans out there, no problem. You can make it meatless, okay? And it'll taste fabulous, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab myself a plate. So this is gonna be dinner for us tonight, especially for my kids. So there's my rice, and underneath it, it has a bit of the tajik there, with the crispy rice, okay? I'm gonna pour some of this on top. Now, if you think you don't like the texture and it's too liquidy, too watery for you, no problem. Just let it, take the lid off and let it vaporize. So let's eat this now. Perfect. It's not too sour. It had, because my kids don't like too much sour. So I watched how much lemon juice I put. But like my mother-in-law, she loves to put a lot of the dried lemons and lemon juice in it and I like that too. So it, it just depends on what you and your family like the most. And also, um, a lot of people like to fry the celery before they put it in the stew. That's up to you too. It's just the way that probably they were taught. But for me, I don't fry it. I just take the fresh celery and I toss it in the stew along with the, with the, the, the mint and parsley and all the other stuff, okay? So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel, my episode. Um, thank you so much for the support. It's funny, I've been running to a lot of people this past week, some friends and and um, that I haven't spoken to in a while and they actually told me, oh hey, I love your episode, you're so cute. I'm learning so much, I'm getting so many great ideas. And honestly, all of these great feedbacks keeps pushing me to keep doing it. Cause I mean, it's hard you guys. I have my kids and I'm starting to work now and I'm trying to figure out how to get this all going for you guys and working with Gabby's schedule cause she has, she has to also go to work and she has school. So thank you so much for your support and please, I would love your feedback and please tell all your friends and family about me. Um, I'm just a mom who likes to cook, okay? And I just wanna show you guys all the fabulous things that I make in my home for my family. So thank you again and have a wonderful day. Bye.